That's nearly it for where we go. Uh, just time for a visit to the big red chair. Uh, who's there? Hello. Hello. Hi, what's your name? Hi, my name's Alice. And uh, what do you do, Alice? I'm a HR specialist. Ooh, she's a specialist. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, some people just work at it. She's a specialist. <laughs> OK. And where, where do you do that? Um, a Netherlands bank called Rabobank. OK. Yeah. Never heard of it, <laughs> but their HR is second to none. <laughs> I'll tell you that. <laughs> okay, off you go, Alice. Um, so I was backpacking in Vietnam, and an airline had just lost all my luggage. So I bought a new pair of flip flops to wear. But I was staying in this hostel where you leave your shoes outside the hostel before you go in. And in the morning, I came down and I couldn't find my flip flops. Presumably, someone had nicked them. So I eyed up another pair of flip flops and thought, oh, they'll do. I went about my day in these new pair of flip-flops, came back standing outside the hostel, um, and I'd met some new friends, so I was standing around with them. And this girl marched up to me, pointed at my feet, and just goes, are those my shoes? <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, they are, and just took them off and gave them back to her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean... <laughs> I don't know how old Alice is, <laughs> but how is that the funniest thing that's ever happened to her? I mean, uh, that is a life not lived. <laughs> <laughs> Still awkward. Still you know awkward. what? You just make these memories when you're travelling, don't you? <laughs> Incredible memories. Incredible memories. They couldn't happen anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Open your mind and see, the, see Vietnam. <laughs> You know what? That's the worst thing that's ever happened in Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> hey, very good. Hello. Hello. Hi. Uh, what, what's your name? Sandra. Sandra, lovely. And where are you from, Sandra? Uh, Bromley in Kent. Right, well remembered. <laughs> um, <laughs> bit of thinking. And uh, what do you do in Bromley in Kent? Um, I'm a billing analyst and also a dog host. So I have two part time jobs. So. A dog host? Mm -hmm. Is that for like guide dogs training or something, um, or just a B and B for dogs? No, it's when people go on holiday or when they did go on holiday and uh, people go in hospital. So I take their dogs. In so oh, and nice. homes and stuff, so yeah. Yeah, look oh. after them for weeks on end or a couple of nights or whatever, you know, whatever. Yeah. However long they last. And um, okay. <laughs> um, so, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Off you go with the story. Um, a couple of years ago, um, my husband and I went to Menorca um, on holiday. Lovely. And uh, we were on a plane. For some reason, our suitcases were in the hole. Uh, they got condensation, quite wet and everything like that, all the clothes in there, mainly the underwear. Um, so when we got to the hotel late that evening, um, I put the underwear out on the balcony um, and there was a... Little did we know there was going to be a sandstorm that evening. Um, and all my clothes, all my underwear basically went all over the... <laughs> I do tired. Oh, yeah. I do that tired. was perfect, Patricia Gucci. <laughs> I didn't do that. I'm really I think... angry I'll never know how that yeah. story ended, Graham. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so her knickers were in the swimming pool. <laughs> That's how all stories end. <laughs> uh, man, my knickers were in the swimming pool. Uh, they're just cleaning the chair. They're cleaning the chair to prevent... Because, you know, it'd be awful to have that happen to you and get COVID. So... Uh, <laughs> So, that'll be a double whammy. <laughs> so, uh, here they are. Oh, well, said, hello. Hello. Hi, what's your name? My name is Claire. Claire? Where are you from, Claire? I am from County Clare in Ireland, but I live in London. OK, Claire from Clare. And uh, what do you do in London, Claire? From Claire. I work for <laughs> a very large construction company, Irish construction company, as a train and team leader. OK, training team leader. This is Claire from Claire. Off you go with your story, Claire from Claire. Thanks. So, <laughs> when I was a teenager, myself and my cousin decided to go for a little drive in her car in a very, very busy street. And it in was Clare. one way. In, in County Clare, yes. yes. It was very, very busy. <laughs> it's a busy street in Clare, Adam. Yeah. <laughs> and for some reason, my cousin had a megaphone in her car. <laughs> So, <laughs> I, I looked to my left and I saw Rod Stewart. 
Oh. But it wasn't Steady. actually Rod Stewart. It was just a man that was the absolute head of him. <laughs> but I decided that I wanted to cause a scene, so through the megaphone, I started to shout that, Rod Stewart, it's Rod Stewart. Um, and we proceeded to cause an absolute stampede and the poor man was inundated with people looking for pictures, <laughs> autographs. <laughs> but I, I met you? him afterwards and he actually thanked me and said it was the absolute best day of his life. Oh, you let her walk? Yeah, go on, you can walk there. Hi, what's your name? It's Matt. Matt, lovely. And what do you do, Matt? I'm a postman. OK, and where do you deliver the post? Um, in Somerset, in Taunton. OK. Did you say Matt or Pat? Matt. No, <laughs> Matt. Yes. Uh, in, in Somerset. None of, none of us live in Somerset. We're all safe here. OK. Uh, <laughs> off you go with the story, Matt. OK, Graham. So after about six weeks on the job, I knocked at a customer's door and the door opened, but there was no one there, just a hand peering round the door. I said, um, excuse me, I've got a big package here for you. <laughs> at, at, at to what point the lady... <laughs> It was definitely a lady, because the voice said, oh, quick, come in, quick, um, before the neighbours see, just come in. And I was like, um, no, excuse me, I've got a big package to <laughs> delivery. <laughs> 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 that was just fan fiction. <laughs> it was Postman Pat fan fiction. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, going to watch us back and wank furiously. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no time to... <laughs> <laughs> Hello. What's Hi. your name? Augustine. Augustine, lovely. And where are you from, Augustine? I'm originally French, but I grew up in London. OK, and what do you do here, Augustine? I'm an advertising creative. <gasps> Ooh, like things we would have heard of? Um, stuff for, like, Bombay Sapphire and... Lots of periods ads. I don't know if you've seen any of those. I've seen ads for periods. <laughs> I really want one now. <laughs> um, <laughs> they really know. They're really selling them. <laughs> Good work, Augustine. Um, <laughs> off you go with your story. Mm. Um, so when I was ten, the police came to my house to arrest my parents because <laughs> I love. <laughs> I like how it starts with so, so. Yeah, I love that. That's great. OK. Uh, because I'd written a quiz called the Horny Hamster Quiz, and I'd posted it on my Bebo and also obviously emailed a link to all my mates who were also 10 years old. Uh, but the problem was the police just could not believe that an actual child had written this quiz because it had questions like, would you fuck a hamster? Yes, no, maybe. <laughs> if you had to fuck a rodent, would it be a hamster, a mouse, a gerbil? Obviously, the correct answer was hamster. Um, <laughs> would you... Uh, what do you call a hamster having an orgasm, a hamstergasm? Obviously, I was ten, so my wordplay was hard to, <laughs> to scratch. Um, and so I was summoned to the living room uh, where I saw my mum and two policemen holding full transcripts of the quiz. And my very distressed and also very French mother was screaming, Oh, does she know what an orgasm is? <laughs> um, and so, luckily, I quickly confessed to my crime and neither of my parents went to jail for hamster-related grooming felonies. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can walk, obviously. Well done, you. Hi. Hi. Hi, what's your name? Katerina. Katerina, lovely. And what do you do, Katerina? I work at the NHS at St George's. Oh, now we have to be nice. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> where do you live? Um, Croydon. Oh, Croydon? Yeah. OK. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> off you go. One bed, two bed. Uh, off you go. <laughs> uh, um, no, 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 that wasn't a real question. Uh, off you go with your story. <laughs> so, it was my auntie's Hindu, and we're all off to Milan. Ooh. My cousins, my auntie and my mum are there. We're heading on to the flight, and my cousin hands out these goodie bags. Um, mum gets on the flight, and she eats all of these sweets in the bag. <gasps> The next morning, she says to my cousin, oh, thank you for this goodie bag. It's, it was really nice that the sweets in there were really nice, but there were these one sweets in there, the penis-shaped ones, and they were really chewy and not much flavour. My cousin looked at her really baffled and said, what penis sweets? There weren't any in there. And then she realised she'd eaten the earplugs. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm just being told, is your mom here? Yes, yeah, she is in the front row. Where's mom? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, she had an earplug. <laughs> but, uh, we'll let her walk. We'll let her walk. We can, we can walk. Very good. <laughs> Did you know she was going to tell that story? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and still you came. <laughs> uh, okay. uh, 
Uh, let's see who's up next. Hello, hi. Hi. Hi, what's your name? Louise. Louise, lovely. And uh, I'm thinking of Whole Foods, I don't know if anyone else is. <laughs> um, so, uh, <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Louise. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Louise. I'm sorry. Where do you live, Louise? <laughs> I live in Ascot. Ascot! <laughs> mm. <laughs> nice. Four bed. Four bed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 what do you do in Ascot? Uh, I work in marketing. OK, all right, we'll say no more. Uh, off you go with your story, Louise. OK, uh, so uh, many years ago, it was... Uh, I was in Australia backpacking and uh, it was the Rugby World Cup final, Australia versus England, and England obviously beat Australia and I was in a hostel bar and beer and uh, glass went flying, everyone was cheering, it was like a, this monumentous m moment. And um, I was wearing flip-flops and my foot slid into a load of glass. And I was like, you know, shit, I've cut my foot. So we went over and I got... <laughs> <laughs> so the, the, hostel, the hostel manager like, got a first aid kit and my foot was sort of up in the air and this guy that I really had a crush on came over and he was like, oh, my God, and he proceeded to suck the glass <gasps> out of my foot. Yeah. And he was, like, really into it as well. He was like... <laughs> spitting. <laughs> and the Australian... Uh, but oh, man, well, the hostel manager goes, mate, like, wh what are you doing? <coughs> and he's like, I'm trying to suck, like, the glass out of her foot. And he's like, mate, that's not the cut. That's her Veruca. <laughs> 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 You can walk. You can walk, Louise. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Paulie went, what's a Veruca? And I translated, and then she went, oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> They're Australian. Um, <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, Hi. God. Hello. Hi, what's your name? I'm Celia. Z Celia? Celia. Celia, Celia. And where do you live, Celia? I live in London, but I'm from Leeds. From Leeds! And uh, what do you do in London, Celia? I am a vet. <gasps> oh, now, already, you yes. know this has got to be an amazing story. <laughs> does it involve being a vet? It does. Excellent, <laughs> Celia! <laughs> yeah! OK! OK, off you go, Celia. So, during the pandemic, we have been consulting outside, so no clients allowed in, going out into the car park, seeing the client, taking the animal in. So, one day, I was going out to see a lovely little black Labrador, had an upset tummy, go out to the client, have a little chat, transpires it has bloody diarrhoea. Apparently, that description wasn't enough, so he thought, I need to show you some photos. So I was like, OK, sure, I think I know what I'm going to get, but go on. <laughs> Scrolling through his photos, then he goes a little bit too far and I get a full-on dick pic. <laughs> <laughs> It never happened. <laughs> Luckily, I'm wearing a mask, full on mortified. <laughs> Pry the dog off him, run inside, tell everyone who is obviously pissing themselves, laughing, <laughs> and then just avoid him ever since. And it's just awful. Hey! Oh, I like that. You can walk. You can walk. You can walk. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Sam. Sam, lovely. And uh, what do you do, Sam? Uh, I'm a finance manager. A finance manager. Where do you do that? Um, in Southwark, uh, London. Oh, Southwark, we know it well. Uh, OK, off you go with the story. Um, well, as long as, as long as go as I can remember from when I was really tiny, I had a mole, quite a distinctive mole, in my belly button. And then when I was 21, I have, was pregnant with my, with my son. And uh, when you're pregnant, you're, as you know, your belly grows and you swell a bit. And sometimes your belly button can pop out. And at that point, I found out that it wasn't actually a mole, but it was an uh, apple pip. <laughs> I must have put it in there when I was little. <laughs> you can walk, lady. <laughs> That's a great story. Hello. 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 Uh, what's your name, sir? I'm Lars. <laughs> Lars? Yes. Okay. Are you a real person, <laughs> Lars? <laughs> yes. Are you a people? <laughs> okay, Lars. Uh, where are you from? Uh, I'm Norwegian, but live here in London. Oh, Such a good accent. God. It is. It's almost like he's putting it on. <laughs> 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 Please never ask me to do that. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Lars, why, why did you move to London? Oh, I moved to England because of my wife. Um, and we just <laughs> moved to London this summer. And I guess, for my sake, it... Uh, he sounds German. No, uh, I'm not Norwegian. German. I'm Norwegian. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. But 
Yeah, anyway, I moved to London. I wanted to do something different. I didn't really need to move. I'm working from home, done it for 20 years, and I thought this was doing something different. Yeah. yeah. That wasn't your story, was it? No. No, that's <laughs> not my story. Okay, I'll keep going with this story, Lars. Okay, this is a few years ago. I was uh, probably 18 at the time, and a friend of mine, uh, he, uh, <laughs> uh, he um, asked me to go into the pharmacy to do a pregnancy test. Uh, or buy a pregnancy test for me. <laughs> Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, luckily there was nobody in there really except for the lady serving me, and uh, she said to me, "Oh, um, I hope you get the result uh, you want." Uh, at this time, I had just got a new girlfriend, and it was the first time I was ever going to visit her that night. And uh, we were in the middle of a movie when uh, her mom came in, and it was the lady from the pharmacy. <gasps> no! 